Hi Taurus! Welcome to your reading Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Taurus, in this reading we'll be focusing on your person, we will take a look at your person's feelings, their actions, their intentions towards you. We'll also take a look at your connection with this person and we'll pull some messages of love for you and for this connection. Okay, I pre-shuffled your cards. So let's start Taurus. Let's see. Let's see. With whom we are connecting today for Taurus? Could you please show this person? Could you please show this person? Could you please show this person? We have strength. Okay. We have a three of cups. We have a six of wands, Taurus. We have a four of wands, magician. Wow. Okay, and one more, please. What do we have? towards this person could you please show this person please let's see Taurus what do we have and we have five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck we have the Emperor so Taurus you might be dealing with Leo I have strong Gemini and Aries. This is someone, Taurus, who really cares for you. For some of you, Taurus, uh, you might be in a connection, in a relationship with this individual, or you are dating. Something of, of this kind is coming forward. With the strength, this person feels uh, very passionate about you, but they also care for you. Three of Cups to the Six of Wands. I feel, Taurus, that this individual likes, they like being in the center of, all, of, a, of others' attention. This is someone who might be quite charismatic, who, who is quite confident, but I feel that this person overall is quite likable, especially by their close related environment, friends, relatives, your friendship group. I feel that you might be sharing uh, friendship group so your friends basically know this person and I feel this individual is quite likable here with the four of wands this is a relationship if you are not in a relationship with this person I can reassure you that they do want to be in a relationship with you because they're trying to manifest this Taurus Magician it holds this ultimate power of, of of wanting something and trying to accomplish this. And this is exactly what this person, in this person's energy, they do want to have relationship with you. They do. With the five of pentacles, that might have been some sort of situation or this person has some sort of self-doubt that ultimately you might not want them because this is a card of being unsure you know being left out in the cold missing someone but in in that kind of a um this card surrendered by those cards which are very good cards i strongly feel that this person is there is some sort of self-doubt as much as they might appear very charismatic and you might feel, you know, oh, they are very popular, they have their things together, everything, you know, this is someone who can accomplish everything. You know, I feel this person has some insecurities. And for some of you, I sense that, you know, because of these insecurities, this person is kind of unsure if you really want them but they try they are trying to manifest relationship with you taurus with the emperor this person uh wants to bring more stability they do want something uh long term and i feel that as much as you know they might feel quite insecure about this situation with the emperor this person will take some sort of initiative initiative to um 
to bring more stability into this situation, Taurus. So, so far it looks quite good, I must admit. Let's take a look. We'll see. We'll see. Could you please show me Taurus's um, connection with this person? Could you please show me Taurus's connection with this person, please? Taurus's connection with this person, please? Taurus's connection with this person, please? We have two of cups. Okay, very nice. Ace of swords. <laughs> and we have the sun. Oh my gosh, this is very beautiful, Taurus. At the bottom of the deck, we have a ten of wands. Okay. Well, on your side, we have a two of cups. Taurus, for some of you, it might be in indeed, you know, that sort of situation that you are in a relationship with this individual. If you are, I can reassure you that both of the parties uh, equally want this connection to develop into something more serious. Okay. Because on your side, we have a two of cups, which shows love you know this willing willingness to share that that another cup of love with the other person so essentially love and they have the sun the sun is gorgeous energy it's it it seems that you are this person's source of happiness they feel fulfillment they want to be around you and they see you as a as a material for for something really beautiful that you can create something beautiful ace of swords is a mutual energy here it can indicate, Taurus, that um, um, there is a need for some sort of conversation. For some of you, it might be a case that uh, certain things has to be clarified. For instance, where you stand with each other, it can be something like, oh, we have this emperor again. Um, it can be something as, as simple as, oh, you know, what's the next move? Uh, do you want to take it to the next level for instance i don't know maybe uh, make your connection uh, official with the ace of swords or, or also it might be a situation that uh, maybe both of you will be talking about moving in together but ace of swords is this energy or which brings also clarity but with the clarity it's it's something of course understood but there is a new energy attached to it so some sort of form of a new beginning taurus if you are not in a relationship with this person i strongly feel that you would like to be with them in a relationship because we have this beautiful two of cups on your side i feel that you see this person as your soulmate you understand each other you really really care about them and you feel their energy this is a beautiful, beautiful card for a relationship. It, it essentially shows that you are invested in this connection and you feel this sense of belonging. Very sweet, very beautiful. You essentially want this connection to work out and you want to be with this person. On their side, we have the sun. So similarly, we can say that this person sees you as, as, the, as the source of their happiness. They really care for you. They are invested in this connection. They feel uh, intensity with regards to their emotions. This, this person loves you, Taurus. This is quite unusual when we look at the cards and we have from one, on one side two of cards and the sun. It, it, it just it shows a clear message that both of the parties want this connection. They want to be together. They want to be in a relationship. They want to create union. Ace of Swords, again, as a mutual energy, you might expect some sort of communication, I feel, or there will be very significant um, message or conversation that you will have with this person, and certain things will be clarified. But both of the parties here seems that they really want to be with each other. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands and we have the Emperor. Again, emperor. We had at this uh, we had the emperor for this for this person's um, overall energy, and we have now kind of emperor. When I cut the deck, uh, as 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 a as a as a your relationship kind of com connection energy as well. 
this person really wants you because they came as their overall energy and we have also when it comes to this connection this is someone who doesn't want to give up okay they want to keep going with this ten of wands something is burdening this person okay and for instance you might feel maybe that's why this ace of swords is here because you might as much as both of you want to be with each other that you might feel that there is something that this person might be struggling with or you might get impression that because of this person's uh, attitude or because of this person's actions or maybe the way they hold them themselves or the way they talk you know you might feel that they are sometimes detached or you might suspect that there is something going on or they have some sort of responsibility or they just burdened and exhausted by maybe they work or, or certain situation in their life. I feel that clarity is coming and this person will explain what is this Ten of Wands exactly about. And with the Emperor, it, it shows that uh, things will just be more stable between the two of you. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but we have very strong Leo with the Strength card, the Sun. Again, strong Leo, we have strong Aries, Gemini as well. This is very beautiful. This is a very beautiful energy, Taurus. You have someone here who feels the same, who, who, who is in love and who wants this connection. Let's take a look at this person's feelings, Taurus. Let's see. Could you please show me this person's feelings towards Taurus? What are their feelings at the moment for Taurus? Their feelings. We have a Knight of Wands. Okay. Could you please show me more? Could you please show me more? Could you please show me more? We have the Ten of Wands again, and we had we had Eight of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have a Five of Swords, and we have Eight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. something is burdening this person this person feels exhausted and what do they want to do they want to detach from that burden they want to detach from that draining energy represented by the eight of cups taurus this is someone who feels very passionate about you with the knight of wands they want to advance they want to uh, take some sort of initiative but i feel that maybe at the moment the, the, the the source, you might feel that there is some sort of delay. Something here with this Ace of Swords, it's showing that has to be clarified. And I feel that this person might be indeed giving you impressions that as much as they care for you, there is something else playing on their mind. What they feel is that they really want to drop this. They want to detach from this burden, from this complication, obstacle, whatever it's playing on their mind. And they want to advance towards you. This is how they feel about the situation because this person is perfectly aware that you might see them as someone who's playing mind games because, um, because of the impression they might, give, they might be giving you from time to time. Or maybe recently, you know, you were kind of questioning this connection. If this person really wants me because they acted in a quiet way odd way they are not fully present and you might be suspecting that this person is is focusing on something or someone else and this is in their feelings they do want to drop this burden whatever is exhausting them in order to advance towards you because this person is perfectly aware that the way they might come across or they might be coming across is that you might start reading them as they are playing some sort of mind games with you this is someone, Taurus, with whom uh, it might be someone from your work, okay? It doesn't have to be because we are connecting with collective energy, Taurus, so the, the role, sorry, <laughs> there will be many scenarios for you. But um, it might be a case for some of you with this Eight of Wands, sorry, Eight of Pentacles. But... Deeply inside, I feel, Taurus, that this person wants to put work. They, I feel they are dedicated with regards to this connection and they really want to work things out between the two of you. They, they do want to um, 
they want to put an effort to come across as someone who you can trust, who you can fully trust. That's why we have this Ace of Swords, because it is a sign that something here has to be clarified. And I feel that you might feel that this person has to communicate in a more certain or clearer way. And they absolutely are aware that it's the right thing to do. Okay. Cross watchers for Taurus, you are very much welcome. But uh, it might play from your perspective, so the roles can be switched. It might be, for instance, something that Taurus did to you, okay? So Taurus might feel exhausted and they might want to drop that, that kind of problem that they are facing in order to advance towards you. Okay, so that's the way you could read this reading. All right, so let's take a look at, uh, at this person's intentions towards you, Taurus. Let's see. Let's see. Could you please show me this person's intentions towards Taurus? Could you please show me this person's intentions towards Taurus, please? Could you please show me this person's intentions towards Taurus? We have a Two of Pentacles. We have a Queen of Pentacles. We have a Seven of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have a Five of Cups. And again, we have this Eight of Pentacles, Taurus. So, in their intentions, this is someone, Taurus, who wants to have a long-term relationship with you. You are presented here in this Queen of Pentacles energy, someone who has so much uh, to bring to the table, so much, someone who has so much to offer. This person puts you on a pedestal and they are invested. Their intention is essentially to invest more in this connection. They, they, they want you, Taurus. They see you as someone with whom they, they can achieve uh, goals, they can be happy. And they also see growth when it comes to this connection. This is a very clear message. It's a beautiful reading. So, I mean, so far, yes, I can say that. This is this is very beautiful energy, Taurus. In their intentions, again, this is this is someone who indeed you might feel that they are juggling you with another situation. But with these cards, because these are very positive cards and their intentions, this is someone who doesn't have bad intentions, not at all, but they are facing some sort of situation here. I feel that it might be hugely connected with their workplace, finances. This is someone who might be, for instance, are facing some sort of important deadline at the moment or, and they, you know, they have so much responsibilities. And they, they feel that they really have to contribute more time. And, and, but this person is afraid that you will see this as they don't care. And this, this person is worried that they, will, that they will lose you. The thing is that Ace of Swords is saying here and giving guidance to this person. You need to talk. You need to explain, Taurus, what's going on. And Taurus will say... I feel, Taurus, that you really care about this individual and they just, they just need to approach you and explain what is this about. And of course, I see you with this two of, of cups as someone who's very understanding and you'll say, yeah, of, yes, of course, I completely understand. Don't worry, everything is fine. You know, this is very nice, but this is someone who is already invested, Taurus. But at the moment, I feel that they are facing some sort of maybe difficulties when it comes to their finances and work-related matters. And this is something that hugely is playing on their mind. Therefore, you, you might feel that they are kind of juggling you or, or, or they are not fully focused on you. But this is not the case. Because they are really in love with you here, Taurus. Let's see. Let's take a look what messages of love will tell us uh, about your connection or in general for you, Taurus, because we are focusing so much on this person. Let's take a look at your energy as well. Okay, let's see. Could you please give me important messages for Taurus, please? Abundance, beautiful Taurus. 
You've done the work, abundance flows to you now. Gorgeous. Let's, could you show us more for Taurus? Could you show us more for Taurus, please? We have intuition, marriage, past life love, and we have weight. Wow, Taurus, what can I say? I feel, Taurus, that whatever is happening, and if, and if you have some sort of doubts with regards to this connection, Spirit wants to reassure you that everything will be okay. You have abundance, which is you are just, you're going to be blessed. You're going to be blessed with prosperity, with happiness, with love, with abundance, essentially, intuition. It says you already know the answer you seek. Listen to your intuition, Taurus. Listen to your intuition, Taurus, because I feel that, you know, your intuition might be quite spot on or your inner voice is trying to guide you in the right direction. I can tell you one thing, Taurus, this is a very strong soul connection. You might be dealing with your twin flame, soulmate. However, I feel that, you, that your souls met in a previous lifetime therefore we have this past life love your soul remembers this intense connection so there is, make no mistake there is there is no coincidence that both of you crossed each other's paths and and you that you are in each other's life and we have marriage this relationship is moving towards a union taurus it seems that uh, <laughs> A higher level, of, higher level of commitment is showing up here in this reading. Therefore, for some of you, Taurus, you may end up marrying this individual. Marriage is stability and, and higher level of commitment. And look at those beautiful cards. This is a beautiful reading, Taurus. It, it shows that energy surrounding these connections, it's, it's, it's good. It's really, really beautiful. And we have wait. The timing, it's not quite, quite, the timing, it's not quite right. Therefore, this is what I was getting. This person has something here that they have to face and they have to resolve. And spirit is saying, wait, it's worth waiting. The wait, it's worth waiting, let's say it that way. Because I feel with these cards, Taurus, you might feel that, you know, something needs unclear, something needs clarity. This clarity, it's coming. But, you know, as much as I feel both of you, want, they, you want to be together. Spirit is saying, wait, because at first this person has to face something here. They have to resolve it, but it won't affect this connection. I don't see it that way. Spirit is saying, just be patient and things will be just fine. Because you do, you both of you want to be with each other. It's gorgeous. Divine timing here is very important. That's what the cards are showing. Okay, so let's take a look at this person's actions, Taurus, towards you. Let's see. Could you please show me this person's actions towards Taurus? Please. We have a seven of wands. We have a queen of wands. And we have a six of swords. And we have a nine of swords and the two of swords. This person, Taurus, is very protective over this connection. Okay, but that here is here is the thing: they have to detach, they have to resolve certain matter in order to fully be with you. Okay, that's what the cards essentially are showing. With the Queen of Wands, this is someone who put you on a pedestal again. For some of you might feel, oh, it's a third party situation, something of this kind. This is a very positive reading. I don't see them being involved in a third party situation. This Queen of Wands essentially might be showing, and this is how I sense it, that it might indeed be showing this obstacle or this, 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 this thing that, this, that might be playing on this person's mind. And this is again, you see, in their feelings, they want to detach from this problem and in their actions, that's actually what they will do. 
This is someone, Taurus, who, who is very protective over this connection and they will detach, they will end or they will, this, 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 this situation, whatever they're facing and playing on their mind, they will resolve it. So you don't need to be worried about. Because I can feel, Taurus, you know, that both of you might be stressing out and my, you might feel, you know, you don't know what's going on. This person is also stressing out. Conversation, it's crucial here. Just this person has to say it how it is because you have a beautiful connection and they just need to express what's, what's going on. And the Ace of Swords is showing that clarity is coming but this person is stressing out and i feel taurus when i look at this nine of swords i feel that you might be also kind of being unsure what it's going on with this person again it might be a case here taurus that this is someone who is who who momentarily might my being my acting quite closed off you know they they maybe this is someone who is who've always been approaching or resolving their issues by their own they 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 felt that they've never had to kind of um, you know talk about the situation about their they problems this is someone who like who who likes facing issues or problems by their own because they feel that it's it should involve only them they don't want to involve others and it comes from a good place. They don't want to burden you. That's why I feel this person is facing the situation by their own. But Spirit is saying here that they should share what is really bothering them. Because that's essentially um, a sign of, 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 of... Again, you see, we have this five of pentacles being by their own. Feeling no support. The thing is that it's not that... Uh, they know that they will get support, but this is someone who doesn't want to burden you by by their problems. And I feel that there is something here, and I feel it's connected with the, with their work or their stability or their finances that it's really playing on their mind. But the good thing here is Taurus that this person is very protective over this connection, and because of that kind of willingness to be together. It's motivating them to resolve that situation f sooner than, than, than s faster than, I don't know how to say, <laughs> um, to just resolve it really soon because they don't want to waste time. Okay, but they're stressing out, they're stressing out. They have to come and say, because I feel that at some point this, this situation might be stressing you out. You want to know what's going on. Okay, let's take a look at overall outcome. Could you please show me an overall outcome for this connection? For the near future, what's going on here? For Taurus, could you please show me an overall outcome for Taurus's connection with this person? For Taurus's connection with this person. We have the devil. At the bottom of the deck, we have a five of wands. We have the lovers. Okay. So Taurus, I feel that this person, you know, this is someone who is obsessing over you. Okay. They don't want to give up on this connection with the devil. This is someone who wants this, this, this relationship very, very much. I feel Taurus that this, this individual might be still holding back uh, with regards to telling you what's going on, what it's really playing on their mind. Because again, this is someone who wants to face this, who wants to face this, um, this situation by their own. And I feel that at the end, or not at the end, but during this period, I feel that you might, uh, it might be some sort of, um, you, might you might vocalize your, your opinions and it might be some sort of argument between the two of you because you simply would want it to know what it's happening why you're not telling me and it might cause that sort of kind of you know energy of conflict of argument i don't see it anything profound or really heavy because we have the lovers 
So it might be just some sort of kind of strong or passionate communication between the two of you, but things will be just fine. I feel overall, I strongly feel Taurus that this per that, that if this person won't start talking about the situation, that will start irritating you. And that's why you might kind of lost a little bit of a patience and say, listen, what is going on? Why are you not telling me? Are you hiding something? Because that's what you are showing me here. This is impression I'm getting. And this person might be quite, you know, they might be quite closed off and saying, mm, I don't really want, you know, that's nothing, you know, important. And nothing is happening. And you might say, well, listen, I see that something is happening. Are you hiding something? This is their approach. The only thing about this individual is that if they want to face those issues by their own or, or problems, that's fine. But they have to communicate. They have to be uh, transparent with you, you know. But I can reassure you here, Taurus, that lovers are showing that um, things will be fine. You know, because you do have this very strong soul connection. And you will reconcile. So you can expect in the near future, I feel some sort of moment of, you know, a, a little bit of argument, conflict. But this is nothing profound, nothing really strong, I feel, because we have the lovers. So it is this reconciliation and recognition of, of both of you wanting to be together. With the devil as an overall energy, yes, this person might irritate you and I feel it will be connected with this argument or that kind of, you know, heated exchange of opinions. But I can tell you one thing, Taurus, this is someone who is very attached. They don't want to, they don't, they don't want to um, give up on you. This is someone who just want this connection so very much that I feel that my start obsessing over this connection, over this relationship. I know that the devil is quite challenging energy. We have this five of, of, of wands. I can understand that people saying, oh, no, no, it's, 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 it's bad outcome. But look at the whole reading. We have abundant situation, past life, marriage, wait. This is a very good reading. It essentially shows both people who really want to be together. And of course, every connection relationship has its upside downs. And I feel, you know, you might face some sort of kind of, a, again, conflict or just argument. But overall, I see you working things out with the lovers because both of you want to be with each other, that you want to be together. And with the devil, yes, there is an irritation, but it also shows this massive strong bond between two people. This person wants you to the point of exhaustion, really. They don't want to give up on you. They feel very protected. So the devil here, as much as it might show that kind of, you know, kind of heavy energy, because to the devil, it's, there is this heavy element attached to this card. That's how devil is presented. But it, in this reading, I strongly feel Taurus that this person just wants you so very much. It also shows with the devil kind of, you know, that, that they might be quite stubborn. That's why they want to approach all the issues by their own, not involving others. Whereas they could just easily say, what is going on, but this person feels that they need to hold responsibility and it's the best way how to approach connection. This person can be quite possessive and jealous, but, but again, they care so much for you. I see you reconciling. Yes, you might be at some point irritated by this person approach, but overall, I, I strongly feel that both of you really want to be with each other. You have abundance attached to this connection and to you, Taurus. So you are protected. And within time, I strongly feel that, you know, this person, I feel they want to claim you. They, they want to claim you. And <clears throat> this connection can develop even into marriage or higher level of commitment. I will leave it here, Taurus. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. You might be dealing with Gemini and Capricorn as well, Taurus. I just w I want to <laughs> point out this for you. Okay, Taurus. Well, I will leave it here. This is a beautiful energy. I feel both of you really care for each other. 
Thank you so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And I truly hope that this reading was of help. I wish you all the very best. I truly, truly do. And once again, thank you so, so very much for being with me. I, I, I truly appreciate you. Take care, Taurus.